Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be a part of this event, which clearly indicates tangible progress towards the implementation of key initiatives like the Green Recovery Action Plan for Africa and the African Continental Free Trade Area, and by extension, the attainment of Africa's Agenda 2063. Tackling the combined challenges of COVID-19 recovery, climate change, and overall sustainable development requires significant resources that can only be delivered through strong partnerships and coordination. For instance, the Climate Policy Initiative estimates that Africa needs about 2.8 trillion US dollars between 2020 and 2030 to implement our nationally determined contributions, our NDCs, under the Paris Agreement. This translates to about 277 billion US dollars per annum. But annual climate flows into Africa stand at only 29.5 billion US dollars. So innovations like the 4D Digital Green Corridor and Transformer, by creating ready platforms for Af Pan-African collaboration, are critical to finance and more broadly resource mobilization on the continent. And it's exciting to see that this comes as other initiatives such as the African Carbon Market Initiative is being announced. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our case as a continent, particularly with respect to the just energy transition, is cogent and irrefutable. We cannot accept a global energy transition that leaves millions of our people in the dark, exposed to harmful pollutants due to unclean cooking, or poor and unemployed because of limited industrial activity. Africa deserves the policy flexibility and support to leverage natural gas for the speedy resolution of our energy needs. Countries including the United States, China, and Japan, large parts of Asia and the EU, include gas as a major pillar of their multi-decade decarbonization strategies. Similarly, natural gas has a role to play in Africa as a transition fuel to facilitate the delivery of electricity access and clean cooking solutions. The scale up and integration of renewable energy into the energy mix and the switch from dirtier fuels like diesel and petrol. With developments like the Kigali Communique, which came out of the Sustainable Energy for All Forum in May, and the common position on energy access and just transition adopted by the African Union's Executive Council, it is clear that our joint advocacy on principles for a just transition is getting stronger. Our homegrown solutions must do the same. Across the continent, many of our challenges and priorities are shared. African governments are tasked with eradicating poverty, providing opportunities for expanding populations, delivering robust healthcare solutions, and unlocking prosperity for future generations, just to name a few. The beneficial role of Pan-African cooperation on these issues has been established. Reports from the World Bank estimate that the continental free trade area could raise income on the continent by over 450 billion US dollars by 2035 and lift 50 million people out of extreme poverty. Importantly, the continent could see foreign direct investment increase by between 111% and 159% under the Continental Free Trade Agreements. Our priority must therefore be the maximization of this potential, which is what the 4D Digital Green Industrial Corridor and Transformer propose to do. The initial focus of Transformer on natural gas liquids is also fitting given their multi-sectoral relevance. Natural gas liquids, NGLs, serve as clean cooking solutions in the form of LPG, inputs into industrial processes like petrochemicals and plastics production, and cleaner transportation fuels. Transformers' mandate of supply chain transformation can lead to the upscaling of the NGL value chain 
and this promises massive benefits for the continent. The African Development Bank notes that reducing supply chain barriers could increase global GDP up to six times more than removing all import tariffs. This indicates that Transformers' goals are highly important. Here in Nigeria, we are well aligned to the goals of the Green Recovery Action Plan, and we see clear synergies with the mandate of Transformers. For example, in 2020, as part of our economic sustainability plan to drive post-COVID recovery and economic growth, our government unveils the National LPG Expansion Implementation Program, realizing the potential of LPG and other NGLs to address energy access, climate and industrial bottlenecks. It has been estimated that economic activities stimulated by the domestic utilization of Nigeria's recoverable gas reserves could support 6.5 million full-time equivalent jobs and produce 18.3 billion US dollars in gross value add annually, with over 5 billion US dollars of this amount directly from capturing the economic value of NGLs. Consequently, Transformer is indeed a welcome development and we recognize the value that the transcontinental policy and implementation vehicle offers in mobilizing larger investments, improving shared learning, and producing larger economies of scale for individual nations like Nigeria and also for the entire continent. The federal government of Nigeria is committed to the necessary policy and regulatory reforms that will produce greater prosperity for our people and indeed for all Africans. We look forward to receiving more details on the transformer mechanism and outlining the nature of our support for its execution. Thank you very much for your kind attention.